What's up guys, this is Kasim, back again with another video with Digital Gladiator. So today, we're going to be doing, we're actually going to be starting our first episode of the SEO Beginner Tutorial, and this video is going to be covering keyword research and competition analysis. This is something that I think is very important, and actually something that a lot of SEOs don't focus on, and something they really should, because this can honestly make or break a campaign if you don't do proper keyword research and competition analysis you could think hey i'll rank for this with maybe five or ten keyword uh pbns but in reality it's much more competitive than you thought because you didn't do proper analysis and you're going to need a lot more resources to rank and you could end up just wasting money because you don't have the extra resources for that so this helps to understand how many how much resources you'll need obviously you never know exactly but it gives if you do proper analysis it gives you a good idea of what you'll need and plus you can see some if you do proper analysis you can see some or find some great opportunities to copy the links of your competitors which i'll get into in a moment but also with keyword research you could find some uh, diamonds in the rough basically that are keywords that you wouldn't have found before if you didn't do proper research so let's get right into this first off i want to talk about the tools that you'll need so you don't need all of these tools, but these are the ones that I use personally that help the most. So Majestic, first off, that's what you would, the bare minimum you'd need Majestic, and I'd say Keyword Planner would be the bare, bare minimum. And then the reason for this is because with Majestic gives you a really great idea of the types of links that the competition's getting, and you can easily replicate that you can see which ones have higher trust flow and wh which ones don't so the higher trust flow ones you're going to usually obviously you have to manually check them to make sure they're legitimate links and whatnot but you're usually going to see uh, what links are worth uh, copying what links w the competition just has in general so majestic again bare minimum a hrefs or a refs they have the biggest link database so you're going to be able to find the biggest volume of links uh, links that Majestic may not have, AREFs has the biggest database, and they also have some cool tools that are kind of similar. To trying to copy SEMrush, trying to because they're all these are all competitors, so they're trying to compete with each other. And AREFs has some similar things to SEMrush or SEMrush, and I'll show you guys that in a minute as well. And then lastly, or actually second to last here, SEMrush, they have the best keyword research in my opinion, along with Keyword Planner. I usually pair the two because sometimes the search volumes vary and they're contradicting, so I look at both. Um, but SEMrush is great because you can see, if you input your competitor's URL, you can see exactly what keywords they're ranking for and what position they're ranking for each of those. Sometimes that's off a little bit, and you may have to do some manual checking every once in a while, but usually it's pretty on point, and that's why I like it. So lastly here, Keyword Planner. This is from within AdWords. And this can be replaced by SEMrush, but it's also good on its own. There's some different things. Like you may, again, see some different search volumes there. And what you guys may or may not have heard that AdWords or Google has changed Keyword Planner to make it show ranges now. So if you, if you, if you search, say, like Chicago Lawyer, it might say 1,000 to 10,000 searches per month, whereas before it showed you an exact estimate. Uh, now, the way to go around that is to either have a paid campaign or i'll show you this slide here it's a workaround that we've figured out not too complicated other people have said this as well it's nothing groundbreaking but it will save you some money if you want to save money if you don't already have an adwords account that is spending currently so essentially you create a google adwords account if you don't have one already you verify your email and add a credit card for the billing information um, that they they want you to have that I believe that's mandatory then you create a campaign set your cost per click or cpc to one cent and then the daily budget to a dollar and then what you do is you choose keywords with a higher cost per click of of a cent so the cost per click usually was going to be like at least like a dollar or two so you're not going to be charged because your your cost per click you set it to a cent so they don't they don't charge you more than what you set it to usually so that's that so you don't get charged then you simply access the plan and you're ready to go to research with it so that's another awesome thing so analyzing the competition last slide here and then we're gonna actually I'll actually show you move through this with you and show you exactly what I do so pick top the top three top five competitors 
that rank for your desired desired keyword on Google. Uh, I, I sometimes I just pick top three, but usually I'll do top five, just get a bigger view of things. <clears throat> and obviously, like if the top five does like includes Yelp or something, I'm not gonna just research Yelp's profile. You know, I'll see if there's any links to that page and see what that's about, but nothing too thorough. And then once you pick those competitors, you put them into Majestic A refs, Majestic and A refs. Uh, separately if you just have majestic just put them in there it's totally fine and you look at what links are what their referring domains are and you go on each one see what if they're legitimate sites what what can you copy if there's any directories that you can put your link on to kind of imitate or copy your competition because that kind of narrows the thing if you the more links you have similar to your competition the easier it is for you to rank because they already have what's working. You can see what's working literally by going to the top three, top five of, on Google, because that's what Google prefers. So you just copy those links and then you can just keep building, keep building, keep building links. And it gives you a sort of idea, obviously not exact, because there's so many variables in the algorithm, but it gives you a sort of idea of how many links you'll need. And of course they can be hiding PBM links and whatnot. And that's a whole other story about finding those. but. Again, it gives you a better idea than if you just went in blind and just started pointing PBN links and hoping for something to stick. So huge, this is huge again, and now I'm gonna show you what, how I go through things. But real quick here, last, you wanna analyze their keywords, that they, what keywords they rank for in SEMrush, so you can see if there's a keyword you didn't think of, you can take a look at that and see what the volume is for that and whatnot. So let's get right into it here. <clears throat> now, first off, let's see, we're gonna search out a keyword and let's do Chicago carpet cleaning. Do Chicago carpet cleaning, got those ads there, three pack. Let's look at chicagocarpetcleaning.com. Take that www, cause that's a little bit, it's important for Majestic. Oh no, my subscription's expiring, better renew that. <laughs> uh, all right, Chicago carpet cleaning. So you can see they have 51 referring domains and you can see the subdomain and then the root domain would be without the WW and the path URL is the home page. So let's quickly do that. I'll just explain this to you. So the path URL is the home page itself and then the URL is just the same thing essentially. So uh, subdomain is just the whole domain as a whole on the www all right so just to, in case you guys didn't know that I just want to quickly clarify that because I know some people ask so you can see their trust flow is business slash industrial goods business slash construction and some computers in there this is also good because if you want niche niche relevant PBNs this is great for that uh, you can see what these guys have and you can go find PBNs in those same niches which is huge because niche relevant PBNs are so much more powerful than just generic ones. So again, 51 referring domains from 43 referring IPs on 42 subnets and 148 external backlinks. And then this is in the past 90 days. Again, we can use a historical index, which is the last five years. And a lot of those are generally just deleted though, as you can see. So it's not, I usually just check the fresh index because that's what matters. And you can see that trust flow and citation flow is pretty good. It's when that within that one to two ratio. So it's not bad at all. Uh, you can see their anchor text, see what's working, what's not. They seem pretty, uh, pretty optimized for this carpet cleaning is 15%. But again, they are uh, an exact match domain essentially. So it's not too, too, uh, what do you call that? Surprising to me, lost my train of thought. But anyway, <clears throat> we can look at their backlinks here. You click the backlinks tab. Real simple stuff, guys. You just, I usually look at the top 10, 15, 20 even domains, not more than that usually. Usually the top 10 gives me a great picture of their backlink profile and what I can copy, what not. Because I only want to copy, if I do copy anything, I only want to copy good referring domains. I don't want to copy like a, a zero trust flow, 10 citation flow, because that's just not going to be helping me at all. So, Looking at this, usatotalsecurity.com got deleted. Carpet Cleaning Pro, that's an interesting site. Let's take a look at that. Open that in a new tab. Interesting here. So we got Carpet Cleaning Pro. What's their uh, anchor text? Chicago Carpet Cleaning? 
Chicago carpet cleaning. Yeah, looks like a PBN here. There's some sort of a... Yeah, it looks like this is their PBN. They have other sites. Like, let's go on this real quick. Yeah, it's their PBN. These guys have a pretty big operation, dang. Looks like a lead gen operation, dang. That's pretty awesome. Good for these guys. <laughs> but anyway, so that's the first one. And then you guys get the idea. Keep on going more and more. And then to the other sites, of course, and check all those links. The top 10 links is great to find. And then let's use the AREF's site explorer. So I'm in the site explorer here. And we can see they have their own, you know, URL ranking, domain ranking stuff system, um, which is fine. I don't really care about it as much, but I mean, domain ranking, that, that's fine. I'll look at, take a look at it, see what they have. Um, but as you can see, 73 referring domains, but this one only has 51. So you can see AREF's is a lot more, it's a lot bigger than, than Majestic. And you can see some keywords there. I don't usually use the keyword explorer as much. Occasionally I will, um, just to see what it has compared to STMrush. But you can see they have some interesting tools here like domain comparison stuff. You can use all of these, whatever you want. Um, it's really up to you. They're definitely the most, most put together, the most full tool, I guess, out of these three. And then STMrush, let's look into that. It gives you some more analytical standpoint, keywords, stuff like that. So quick domain overview and do, do, do see what they have here. So let's go to the organic research real quick. Looking at their positions, just want to show that to you guys. This is great because I, I we use this a lot with video audits. We use I see them rush a lot with video audits, which I'll get into another day, another time, another day. But uh again you can see like like 61 keywords they're in for, they get they estimate the traffic, they estimate the traffic cost if they were to pay for AdWords, which is great. They show you keywords they rank for and their positions. So you can see Chicago carpet cleaning, obviously that's accurate because as you can see here, they're in the first spot for that. So it's accurate. So great tool, great. All these are great tools. And if you don't have the money to afford them, just I would say Majestic is all you really need. Majestic and Keyword Planner when you're starting out is what you really need. Um, there are all, there are a bunch of other tools out there that I could recommend, um, but that would take a lot a long time to recommend them all. But yeah, these are pretty good guys. These are really solid tools, and that's pretty much all you need to know for keyword research. I actually wanted to add one more thing here at the end that I completely forgot about. So what we do is, like I said, we're back onto the Chicago carpet cleaning. What we do is we get the top, we analyze the top three or top five real legitimate websites usually. So for example, this is the first one, then we skip Yelp, skip Yelp. Generally, obviously we can just take a look at them briefly, but they're not, we won't be doing thorough analysis like we would a normal site. So this is the second listing and then we have the third listing right there. So we can just look at those three because those are the only ones that are in like the top six. So three in the top six is fine, we analyze those. You could analyze Carpet Cleaning Chicago here if you wanted, totally up to you, but a minimum of three legitimate sites is all you need. So we do that, we analyze those like we went over with Majestic, with AREFs and with SCMrush, everything like I went over. And then we also go onto these actual websites and we take a look at their on-page and see what we could replicate because on-page varies um, between each niche a little bit, a little bit. There's some like variances that you can take a look at that may slide with one niche, may not, may not with another. So you can see what's working for these guys because these guys obviously have at least a minimum, at the minimum, they'll have a decent on-page uh, structure so you, that you can replicate and then you can improve on from there and you can do testing from there to see how, what works best and what doesn't. But it's huge, just take a look at what they have on their sites, what, what sites are they linking to, because linking out to sites, get you get some relevancy there in Google's eyes. And I'll go over that in some basic uh, on-page SEO. When I set up a site for you guys in one of the later episodes, it might be, actually might be the next episode that we do. So we go over that as well. And that again, that's pretty much it. For keyword research and competition analysis. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, just wanted to get this out to you guys before I move on with this series. We're going to be talking about a lot of con a lot of awesome stuff. Like, for example, just a few of these. 
We're going to be setting up a site, do, doing some basic on-page SEO for you guys to show you step-by-step -step what you can do to optimize your money sites on-page SEO. We're going to be we're going to be setting up PBNs, showing you how we go through PBNs when we buy them from vendors or when we look for them ourselves. What do we look for in PBNs to make sure that they're high quality? Those are just some of the things. There's so much more to talk about. And if you have any other suggestions to add to this series, let me know. But hopefully you guys got some value from this. And again, we're going to be coming out with a lot more. So stay tuned. Join our Facebook group for extra announcements and some cool ninja secrets. <laughs> some, some cool ninja secrets on the inside, guys. I'm a internet marketer. But anyway, enough, enough uh, joking around here. Uh, yeah, sub, subscribe if you guys enjoyed it and leave a like. Looking forward to, to adding more to this series. Thanks, guys.